is the weekend here and we have so much going on that we need to accomplish. I have to pressure wash our house. White farmhouses are so cute, but they get so dirty. <laughs> so once, once a year, definitely, I like to give it a really thorough um, pressure washing and then I might lightly do it, you know, seasonally. But once a year, usually around this time, I take about hours, <laughs> hours, and just thoroughly clean the house. So I'm going to do that. And then I also want to pressure wash. Um, we have a little play table from KidCraft that has seen better days. <laughs> so I'm going to pressure wash that and give it a paint refresh. And we have the sweetest little swing, little farmhouse swing <laughs> on our front door that um, needs painting. So I'm going to paint that as well. And what else do I have today? I have things. My husband is picking up some pigs, which is really exciting. Um, a farming friend was moving and getting rid of her pigs. So she's given them to us and that is just so sweet. So we are going to take them and we have already named them bacon, a sausage, and pork chop. <laughs> so they are coming. And so my husband's working on that and he's going to be, um, fixing up the pig pen. It's been about a year since we've had a pig. So it's overgrown, which is fabulous because the pigs will eat it down and it needs to be rewired um, for electricity. Pigs only respond to electricity. In our experience, they will get out of anything unless it's electrified. So he has to redo the electricity. We're going to take a look at the garden. I think my husband's going to do a few things over there, um, plant some trees, I'm excited. And what else do I have today? We will see. <laughs> um, I might get to the farmer's market behind me. My whole goal was to kind of keep it seasonal and fun and fresh for my children. And I am going to turn it into a firework stand for 4th of July. And I'm really excited about that. And I can't wait to share with you just some really simple things I bought from Dollar Tree that I'm gonna throw there and just open my children's imagination to what they can do with it. Um, I'm excited about that. So hopefully I get that done today as well. You will see. And as always, thank you for coming along. If you haven't already subscribed, I am just so grateful for the community here and the, the sweet people that comment. I love you. I love people. <laughs> I really do. I love people. I care. Um, and I am grateful. So thank you for being here and helping me get it all done today. And you come back. And you go back. Nah. <laughs> and you come back. Super high. <laughs> My big kids have decided to escape the heat by playing Mario Monopoly today, and they've been doing this a bit and really enjoying it. two beautiful hotels on these. The things you find on farmhouse windows. We are always finding interesting creatures stuck to our windows. Oh, look, there's one now. <laughs> and my children enjoy seeing what comes to the windows. This is homeschool right here. She's looking at the frog. She's asking questions about it. We can talk about the frog's life cycle and where they live and the things they need. This is zoology. This is science. This is homeschool. Okay, I've been procrastinating, but now I'm going to pressure wash all of this. It is so dirty, but the pressure washing, it really does change everything. I want to get this all replaced, but for now, we're just going to settle for making it clean. This is so much better. Not exactly perfect, but clean, and that's a start. As I've been saying, it is ice cream season at Gracefield Farm, and they are enjoying every moment of it. Let's take a look at what's going on with the garden and talk about this a little bit. 
Here is the arbor that my husband has built out of the wood from our forest. I am so excited about that. And all the things are being planted. All of the things going on today. We have all of the trees ready to be planted. I found a sale on peach trees. So that had to happen. <laughs> and they've already got little peaches growing on them. I'm so excited. And then we have our grapevine is doing fabulous. My little raised garden beds need help, but we will get there. This little squash was not planted by us. Something just put it there and it's doing fantastic. So, and our corn, oh, some of the corn, my son's corn, he planted that there, is doing good. And then we have, looks like some red tomatoes over here. All the baby things hopefully someday when I show you this soon it will be full and fruitful and doing fabulous so it's looking beautiful on this summer like day <laughs> I am constantly harvesting basil from this little basil plant. It's so small and yet it has produced so much. And the more you harvest it, it just seems to grow that much more. So you wanna pinch those mature leaves off as much as possible. And then I actually put mine in the dehydrator. You can um, air dry them as well, or of course you can stick them in the freezer. You can use an ice tray to um, make like a little puree and freeze the little cubes for your sauces or cooking for later. That's also really good. There's so many different things you can do with it. Um, this year I'm choosing, at least for now until my jar is full, <laughs> to dehydrate them and I'm filling a little jar with them. And, and then I might make some freezer cubes for my pasta sauce. But I love a basil plant. My children say it smells like spaghetti and it definitely does. Are you coming to help me? And my daughter planted this tomato plant. It is doing fantastic. She planted it with an egg and a banana peel, and it has been the most fruitful of the tomato plants yet. So she's doing a good job. We have had this kid craft table for probably a decade now, maybe more, <laughs> and it has seen better days. It has been outside on our front porch, and this chair has been left out in the rain, which is why it's grayed. So I have bought this black paint i actually used it on our farmer market it's just really good paint and primer it's good for the interior and exterior and i am going to use it on this table <laughs> to give it a little refresh and put it on the front porch and make it look all cute my children really enjoy being outside in the summer doing all the little things and i want to give them a fresh table to do it all on so let's get started a sweet little helper helping me paint today <laughs> yay with the way they turned out. My little helpers helped me. <laughs> we decided to leave the inside of that natural wood um, easier. Plus, I think it looks good just with that little bit of wood accent. Um, whenever everything is dry, I am gonna flip it over and paint the feet and touch up places I missed, etc. cetera. Um, this one has two little screws that have come out of the side. So I'm going to jam those little pegs back in and see if my husband can help me find some screws. Um, to fix that but you know what for a 10 year old table set from kid craft it has held up magnificently and this table set has been abused <laughs> by my children they have used it and used it well and like i said it's been outside and sometimes it's been in the weather 
and everything else and it is just held up it is it was a wonderful buy um, I highly recommend it I'll try to link it below I've been trying to link the products that I buy below in the description if you're ever wondering where something came from I always try to link it below um, at least in my newer videos and I am trying to go back to some of my older videos and link things that I have used and if I can't find the exact thing I'm trying to find similar things so if you're interested you can grab it too and um, I just, I really recommend this. This is one coat of paint I put on this table. And I mean, it's just so good. Like this is a paint and primer. So um, I'm really impressed because I didn't want to go back and give it, you know, two or three coats. <laughs> so it did really well. Um, again, and it wasn't badly priced. And this, my children helped me obviously. So this is all yucky now. <laughs> I have to wipe it off. But this whole little thing about about a fourth of it is gone after I use this. So I think it was about $16. So for $16, definitely worth it. It'll be around for a while to paint things to match it. And like I said, I already painted the farmer's market with it. So it's gone really far for what it is. And also I'm really impressed. I always just get um, paintbrushes at Dollar Tree for products like this in case they don't wash up well. I don't feel bad throwing them away. And I just washed my paintbrushes and they washed up really easily. I, I was really surprised that such a strong paint that could go on with one coat would come off that easily um, off my paintbrushes. So that is good. And um, on the farmer's market, I was really impressed with just um, the durability after it dried. So anyways, I really recommend it. I'm so happy with the way this has turned out and um, I can't wait to finish it. And now on to the next project. <laughs> So my little boy got this swing for a second birthday present. He is now seven. He had a swinging into spring Caillou birthday when he was two. He loved Caillou. And so now this is five years old and it needs a refresh. <laughs> the turquoise blue has worn off that it used to be. And I am going to paint it lemon yellow. That same lemon yellow I used on my little girl's farmer's market she got for her birthday, her aerial birthday. She just had it worked really well. Again, that same brand. Um, so hopefully it just takes one coat. Um, it is just, we love this swing. It's right out our front door. It's hanging on our gumball tree, we call it. Our big sweet gum. And we just, we love the swing. I love the... I don't know, the quaint sweetness of having a swing like this out the front door. So I'm gonna give that a paint and I will also link this swing below if you love it as much as I do. I never got around to pressure washing this swing so I'm gonna give it a good wipe before I paint it. On the bottom of the swing, you can see the color that it used to be <laughs> before five years of weather and play. And that is the brand Again, it has just been fantastic. So, love the swing. Let's get it painted. Okay, I am done. It is lemon yellow, which is just exactly what I wanted. Um, I believe the paint color is actually called Sunny Side Up. I'll link it below for you. Um, that honeydew list from my husband, I would really love. Whenever he got this five years ago <laughs> for his birthday, we just kind of strung it up with whatever we had. My husband put it up for me, but I would love to have long black chains connected to this. I think that would be lovely with the yellow or just lovely in general. So, um, and that's keeping with our black metal color. Again, our, well, in general, because this table's not, but in general, our farm colors are white wood, black metal, and natural wood accents. And apparently in the summer, touches of lemon yellow. So anyways, I love how this has turned out. I'm very pleased with it. It will last a very long time. Look at you, how cute is that? <laughs> Surprise, meant to be done. Yay! It's mine! It's, I claim it! If you can't tell already, my little girl loves pigs.
straight away. Are we gonna eat them? Wait, there we so are. my husband has brought home three pot belly pigs that somebody did not want and they are going to become sausage and bacon here very shortly. We are very excited. I've already named them pork chop bacon and sausage. I think those are appropriate names. So <laughs> did I bring you home something new to protect? I did. Push up. Three. <laughs> sleep well tonight. Aren't they cute? Yay, you're too cute to eat. Look at you. Look at you. You just look a bit like Pua, don't you? Are you a Pua pig? My daughter wants to keep it because she thinks it looks like Pua. It is a pot belly pig. <laughs> My dog making sure everything is good. Are you making sure everyone's safe, Matrix? What? My husband is fixing up the electricity. Like I've said before, you have to have electricity with pigs. It is just the only way to effectively keep them in. Otherwise, they will jump that fence. I have seen the biggest pig jump this fence. <laughs> like They are very capable of it. So you need electricity to teach them to stay here. And um, they're pretty good about it. So. We are getting that set up so little sausage, bacon, and pork chop can stay here happily until they go to the butcher. You said the same thing I told ya. My eyes are clear, there's no secret. I wanna know, was it serious? To show with the weight of the world on my shoulders, I know I told you it's the best slot I know. It's not a game that I am playing. So these little peaches, we just planted this tree. They're so small, but it's because they haven't fully gotten the nutrients from the ground after being planted. So they're actually ready to be picked. But next time this tree grows peaches. It will be big, round, beautiful peaches. I picked up some things at Dollar Tree to create our fireworks stand from our current farmer's market. And I just got the most random red, white, and blue fun things because it's all about opening up my children's imagination and creating a space for them to just play and have fun. So I think they're gonna be so excited. I found these foam stars and I got two packages of those. And these water squirters were red and blue and I was like, they kind of look like rockets or something. I see something fun coming out of this. <laughs> so my daughter was with me and she said these blue gift bags were really fun because whenever they have their fireworks stand, maybe they want to sell some of the fireworks to people, you know, each other. <laughs> so I got those and I got this little sign from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that on their playhouse that I love to decorate seasonally or the farmer's market, but got that. And I found these big stars, big gaudy stars. And I was like, that will fill one of the spaces really fun. And then I got some red pom-poms and I was like, they look like fireworks. So that is something. And then I found these confetti stars and I got red, white, and blue. And then I, they had some um, jars and I am going to fill each one with one color of stars. And then I am going to hot glue the lid shut because I do not want these all over my house. 
<laughs> but I was like, how fun is that to play with? And super cute, just kind of sitting up on the fireworks stand. So that, and then Dollar Tree had these poppets. So I thought, well, they can have fun and play with these outside and then keep the boxes and use those in the stand. And that's another fun thing. And then we got these little birthday blowers. They're silver. And I thought that would be another fun thing. And this, I thought maybe it could just sit on the fireworks stand and look fun. <laughs> and we liked these red tubes. They look like sticks of dynamite or something. And plus they open up, so maybe they'll stuff it full of a pom-pom or who knows, wherever their imagination leads them. So I got two of those. And then we picked up two of these blue um, gift bows to throw in there. And then Dollar Tree had a little patriotic pail. I thought we would set on top. And that is it. But so much play can be found in this. So now I'm going to put it all together and convert our farmer's market into a 4th of July fireworks stand. This is currently the farmer's market. I have already wiped off the farmer's market sign that I had up on top and I've taken out some of the things I need to finish. Um, I still have not hung my curtains up on my window. Um, I had taken them down to wash and right now I'm just kind of enjoying them down in the bright sun, but they will be going back soon. But until then, they are down and I am going to get this done. My little girl has put her Barbie cash register up here. <laughs> so anyways, let's get started. You said the same thing I told ya My eyes are clear, there's no secret I wanna know, was it serious? I need it clear, my best friend Is it easy to show, with the weight of the world on my shoulders? I know I told ya It's the best light I know it's not a game that I am playing My love Trying to hold my feeling I don't know what's right I'll find the best way I think that I might I know you made it in the nick of time I'm calling on you I think we're made of something Okay, I think that's a really good start. We might end up picking up a few more things um, when we are out or something like that. But for right now, I think this is exactly what I would want if I was a little kid. So I'm really excited to show them what we have done and all the little things tucked in there to play with. And of course the bags and the little bucket are tucked away in back for their little shop. So the little shop owner can sell their goods <laughs> to anyone who comes wanting them. There's our little water rockets. Maybe I can find some little 4th of July books to put in the side on the little magazine rack. Let me see if I have any. For right now I'm going to add this one until I find some others. I grabbed this black vase out of my decor shed and I am going to fill it with chalk and put it in the center of our freshly painted table. Craft closet has all of the different things in it and that includes a bunch of new chalk in my chalk tub. So that is ready to go in here. of 
chalk. They love coloring on the sidewalk and this is just absolutely perfect. I love new art supplies. <laughs> How fun is that? So I am just loving the table. This is one of our little kittens, Garfield. I have a feeling we will end up keeping him <laughs> because he is just too cute. And he is so tired right now, just like the rest of us. It has been a long day. Thank you for coming along with us, guys. And until next time, bye. Shine, shine, dreaming high like the stars.